I never get tired of seeing that sign. Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Welcome back to Ace of Vegas Spinners and Sharks, Ace here, and I hope you're doing well. So, for today's video, I'd like to take you along with me to enjoy my Vidara Hotel and Spa Las Vegas trip report. We had an early morning arrival at McCarran Airport and were greeted by Vidara's VIP check-in. It's a $100 add-on that included limo pickup and escort straight to your room. Checked in, no muss, no fuss. Ooh, is this our ride? Ha oh, look at that. The room itself was comped thanks to 150,000 MyVegas points, saving me $318. Unfortunately, because of the VIP check-in service, I didn't get a chance to do the $20 technique upon arrival to arrange for a free upgrade. However, I was greeted with a gift basket of fruit in Fiji water, as well as complimentary entry into the Vidara Club Lounge. More on that later. We took a walk through the hotel, which is very clean, smoke-free, and casino-free. Noise pollution is low, so the relaxation factor is very high. Half the trip was unseasonably warm at a balmy 79 degrees Fahrenheit, making the Vidara pool an excellent place to hang out and have a cocktail. Okay, Spinners and Sharks is officially lunchtime. Lunchtime crept up quickly, so it was time to visit the Aria. The Aria buffet was reasonably priced, especially since it was free with our My Vegas reward. 95,000 LPs granted me two buffets. Unfortunately, I hadn't realized the buffets were entry for two into a single buffet for free. But my quick-thinking host comped my unlimited drink package instead. The results were magnificent, one of the best lunch experiences I've ever had at a Vegas buffet. Later that evening, I made a critical mistake for any Vegas goer. I double booked buffets. In my enthusiasm to review the Wynn Buffet, I hadn't realized I booked it the same day as my Aria Buffet experience. My Lyft ride over distracted me from the fact as I was taken over by a self-driving car. That said, getting through the line of the buffet and getting my 1200 Wynn Gem Buffet comped was still worth the hassle. It's a much more focused buffet than Aria was and the seafood was certainly on point. As was the steak, no disappointments to be had. An excellent dinner experience that saved me $45 during the week. My first night wrapped up with some karaoke courtesy of my man DJ Scooby. He's been running the Level Up Karaoke at Lucky Bar, located in MGM Grand, for a year now, and it's become one of my favorite Sunday and Monday distractions. Be sure to check him out on Instagram, and also at his website in the description box below. Also, let him know that Ace sent you. I don't actually have a sponsorship deal with him, I just think he's a cool guy. Alright guys, I gotta own up to a bit of a mistake. I decided to do two buffets back to back yesterday. The next morning was a difficult one. A night of moderate drinking and back to back all you can eat buffets with good food took its toll. Even quality food shouldn't be binged for four hours, even split between two sittings. Hydration was stage one, then good food was stage two. On to the room service tablet we went. Food was delivered within half an hour, but it was delivered by hand and not by our friend R2-D2. The Vidara robots typically only deliver small things like coffee and aspirin as it turns out. After that, it was time for some relaxation at the spa. The gym is close by too, but not nearly the center of my journey. After about an hour of hot tubbing, tea drinking, and saunas, I had to get some work done. A trip to the Vidara Club Lounge was just what I needed. A nice quiet lounge with snacks stacked to the sky and plenty of drinks on hand. They even start a lovely wine tasting and snacking hour at around 4 o'clock. A quick train ride later and I arrived at Public House for an early dinner with fellow travel vlogger Ray from Vacation Impossible. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description box below. From there we took on the Public House menu. And it was pretty good actually. Very much pub grub with a fancier twist on it. And for a measly 30 bucks after a $20 credit courtesy of my Vegas, who could say no? Alright guys, it's Vegas back in, and I'm looking for the car show, no idea where that is, but let's get this review started. My review of the car show will be up pretty soon, but here's an abridgment. It was... Interesting. The costume work is pretty amazing as always, and so is the choreography, but I can't say I care for the lack of narrative in the story. 
A free hangout at the Foundation Room at House of Blues was a very nice way to wrap up the night. The music was bumping, the drinks flowed freely, and of course, the view of the rain was stellar. And let's not forget about a quick trip to the Buffalo Gold Machine that paid out a cool $92 in exchange for $25 with a free play. Now that's free money in motion. Sadly, I didn't get a chance to enjoy the Tom Urban's buy one get one free beers. On a three day trip, this would have been reasonable, but it was a little too much for a two day trip. Now, if I had any gripes with Vidara, I'd probably say these are them. The spa pass should really be included in the price of the resort fee. $40 in addition to the $51 a night just to go to the hot tub in sauna is pretty wild if you ask me. Also, the use of the business center to print anything other than a boarding pass was a dollar a page and a dollar a minute for internet access. It reminded me of AOL from 1996, completely unacceptable from a five-star property. Also, I would have enjoyed a larger selection of eateries on property. I know it's on a major casino hotel, and I know it's right next to Aria, but I still think it's reasonable to have a little more dining selection. Thanks to my Vegas and wind slots, I left with over $700 more in my pocket than I would have if I hadn't used those comps and coupons. That's enough to cover my trip to Aria next month. Overall, I'd say Vidara is a drastically underrated property, and it certainly earns 4 out of 5 stars. And that's about it for today's video, Spinners and Sharks. If you enjoyed today's content or found it informative, I'd appreciate a like, and feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Next trip report we do, I think we're going to be tackling Aria right before Christmas, so that'll make things a little more interesting. Until next time, this is Ace of Vegas, signing out, wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spinning.